to me, what the Tarot is doing is two things, twofold. Not only is it helping us access our own higher self, our own intuition, our own truth and um, consciousness, but also the universal field of consciousness. It's also helping us access that, which is the ultimate truth that is beyond our limited knowing. So yeah. when, when you're using the Tarot, you're tapping into the cosmic consciousness that is beyond your limited brain. So a lot of times when I draw cards, like I'll tell you today, my drawing for today with my recording with you, I always do three. <laughs> I do okay, I, I want to know this. Yeah, yeah. I do three. Okay. All the best. All yeah. the best, David. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know, right? But I got the one. Uh, wait a second. I was doing the order. The two of worlds. Reflection. Uh, uh -huh, which I had to reflect, as I was telling you before we well, started and, the recording. And, and this is a full moon day, and those are two moons in that card. Oh, that's, that's a moon right. Card. Yeah. Two, that's the priestess who goes into that subconscious and the collective unconscious to probe the truth. And, and James, I had to do that, whether it was keeping, remember I told you what happened to my dog in the last night in the emergency room. So we almost didn't have this recording today. So I did deep reflection this morning. So right. I thought that was that. And then by I, the way, there is a, a wolf there. Oh. Talk about the first dog, oh, yes. the primal dog. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Very, and this is just such a gorgeous card. That's a gorgeous it's, card. Uh, wow. These are all cut and paste collage art i mean it's stuff out of magazines this is old world art it is just 40 so... 40 years ago and it's already old world i would yeah, yeah 40 nothing years nothing digital ago. nothing digital but here. it's timeless james this like you tell you just told me this is 40 years ago this looks like it was yesterday i mean literally this is just if i could paint this i would be a happy woman this oh, is I, I love gorgeous uh, it's, gorgeous. It's, it's, it's knockout gorgeous. It was so much fun making these. It took us four years. Yes. The, uh, my great friend, an artist, collage artist, four years. Four to make years. This deck. Yeah. It shows. And then, and then nobody wanted to publish it. What, like, why? Because it was too out there? Yes. Too yeah. different. Yeah. Too, too different. Like, oh my God, this is, I don't know. I don't know. So I had, I, you can't set back, you know, ultimately, leads to comeback and leads to success. That Love was a it. setback, but keep believing, keep showing up, keep revealing, shine your light. And eventually I had an angel call me out of the blue one night and said, I love your deck. I dreamed about the cards. Here's a bunch of money, publish them yourself. Boom, off and running. And that's you even know? better than you could have hoped oh, for, publishing oh. them yourself. So it worked out way better. Way better, way better. Cause that's the publisher the gets a hold of it. That's right. You, you sign it away. You sign uh, it yeah. away. Yeah. Your, your first kid, your, your children yep. are gone. Yeah. You know, yep. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that is a great story of manifestation and belief. Absolutely. And, and, and perseverance. Perseverance. And, and there is a, a, a card in the deck called Setback. Yes. But each of the, mm -hmm. there's five, it's the five of worlds. So it's got okay. five new earths in it. So mm -hmm. when you have a setback, and we all do, yep. you're never going to get to success without setback. Setback mm -hmm. is the key to life. But it's also the strategic retreat. Step back, sit back, and aha! Now you know where the open door of opportunity is and haul. Yeah. Run towards that. So setback is, it's, it's really a stepping stone to success. So, so regroup. This is a, regroup. Like, this is a regroup. total psych, positive psychology. It's about re. Redefining re these words we use, which are old, obsolescent, and dysfunctional and well, counterproductive. I feel like what you just said is a great way to answer the question about people who are afraid of getting the negative cards, you oh. know. And but you just hit the nail on the head. It's about using the tool that they're yes. that your subconscious is talking to you. Like it doesn't mean you're gonna have a setback today necessarily. It's a heads up to use your yes. higher self in dealing with it. Right. Well, and it's mindfulness psychology. This is mindfulness. That's why a card a day or three cards a day, it makes you mindfully aware. And I love the so-called so-called negative cards there's mm -hmm. 12 of them mm -hmm. because they 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 alert you they yeah. remind you where not to go and once you've previewed you can prevent because you are prepared so to true. prevail so procrastinate i procrastinate procrastinate oh. absolutely just jump on it now particularly in this day and age it's it, if you're procrastinating 
you're trying to be perfect and it ain't going to happen and you're mm. you're 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 slow and you're behind and you're dying you're losing so mm. jump on it now the highest card in the tarot is the fool i call him the fool child which is zero it's like, zero. like a kid oh look at that it's oh look at that orange looking thing they put your finger in it we do and we get burned but we learn quickly mm. we're not sitting around trying to think about i wonder what that is and should i go there and rah 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 get it over with now yep move on move with life at the speed of life now is so quick and this is the time for that Woo! brilliant I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Ah, me too i'm like okay. all jazzed up i mean okay, that's... so you had their first card what's your second card okay now? i got the woman of crystals oh another blue card another priestess card same another, family yeah. those two. they're yep. reflecting she's reflecting yes that's and a... how wow. she uses her mind right oh that's mindfulness that yeah. is the mindfulness psychologist mm -hmm. that card wow which is just like the reflection card mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my which okay. I could pretty much get that card every day of my life <laughs> to reminding you to use your mind the way you want to use your mind, Amy. Uh, absolutely. Don't let your mind use you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Amy. Yes. Oh, that's when, my when's your book coming out. When is your book coming out? It's coming out after my podcast gets very, very successful. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 So what's I, your third card? What's your third card? Okay. And this one, I don't know. I wasn't really sure. So I'm glad you're going to help me oh. interpret Six Synergy. of the world. Six of worlds. Synergy. Yeah. Synergy. I love that word. Uh, it's six, which if you look at a tarot deck, even Voyager. The lovers. The, the six is lovers, mm -hmm. which is the bringing together of opposites, yin yang, male, female. There's a, two swans coming together mm -hmm. and all these different six different planets coming together to create like the, the root word of synergy is sun energy. Oh, cool. I didn't know S that. Sun ergos. Mm -hmm. Sunergy. And the reason why the sun is so powerful and can renew itself over and over and over again is because it's synergistic, meaning all parts of yourself are whole, they're integrated. So if my mind goes off, then my heart, my emotion going to go off, it affects my body, which is going to affect my spirit, which is going to affect back this. So the whole is greater than some of the parts. And that's what the Voyager system is about, is to live holistically and synergistically within yourself, number one, like all living life forms, whole within you, mind, heart, body, spirit, male, females, et cetera, et cetera, and with other people. I, I mean, love that, that. That is yep. a perfect card for having a podcast. With really? Somebody else, with somebody else. I'm that somebody else here today. Yeah. I mean, synergy is the ultimate team, partnership, co-creative, collaborative all those co-words card in the deck 